Aloha and welcome to this walkthrough of Digits Part 2, the List Contacts page. I have merged my landing page into the main branch and I have created a, and I have initialized the database so we can take a look at Postgres. I have my Digits database, I have my tables, they are seeded. Um, and I have also created my list contacts page branch, and I'm doing it in list contacts page two, because I've done it once before. So now let's start my timer. And so what do I need to do? I want to edit the app list page tsx file list apps source app list page tsx file and i want to remove the code that re renders the table so no more table i don't want that to be stuff But unfortunately, the image I have has a bug in it. So I want that. So I want this H1 to be last name text center. Got to log in as John. Oh, I have to run the app. Run the dev. I'm already logged in. List stuff. So it says list contacts. That's good. Now I want to comment out the Prisma stuff and the stuff item because I don't need them anymore. I'm not, I don't need table either. Don't use that. And I don't need that. I don't need that. Okay. No red, that looks good. Doesn't look like there's any ESLint errors. I want to replace, comment out, I'll delete them. I want to add a row to hold my contacts. Yes, it's not supposed to be emptying, that's fine. We'll fix that later. And then in the nav bar, I want to change it from list stuff to list contact. In the nav bar, it should be list contacts. Let's see. List contacts. That's good. It's highlighted. Good. Okay, again, the image is off. So now we want to define what a contacts, what contact shape is. In a few lessons, we're gonna actually use Prisma to define the contact, but for now, we wanna define the contact and we're gonna put it in the validation schemas file. So copy that, go find the validation schemas Add the contact. And now, in so we got that. We're going to use it to define what the shape of contact. Later on, we will use Prisma to define it. 
So now we want to have some sample contact data. So we want to create a list of contacts. And instead of having to type all this, it's easier if you just cut and paste, or copy and paste, excuse me. So before I get here, I want to save it. Now, I don't have the contact, so I need to import it. And it's not, again, Copilot's not allowed to have lib validation schemas. So we're not, we haven't used it, that's correct. And oh, wait, you got this other one where the line should be at the beginning. So the operator line bake ES lint rule says that the plus should be on the next line, so it should be down here. The problem is that I'm using prettier, and prettier wants it at the end of the line. So in order to fix that, I'm going to go into my eslintrc.json file and say operator line break is off. So now I don't get that error on all these long strings. I think it's fair to un turn off a rule that I don't necessarily agree with, um, but you don't want to turn off all the rules because we do want ESLint to have it work. So now we have our contacts, but we don't use it yet. Maybe I'm not getting that error. Oh well. So now we did that. So now we're going to create the contact card to hold this data. So we're going to make a copy of stuff item and create a contact card. So stuff item is a component. Copy and paste it. Edit its name. Contact card. It's not stuff item. Okay, not a single row, a single contact. Okay, so we're going to want to create a card. We want a card, so it's going to be a card. React Bootstrap. But since it's a card, it can only be rendered on the client. So use client. So it, this will, the card only gets rendered on the client. It's not rendered on the server. You'll get some funky error message on the rendering. And it's, this is not what we're going to get passed in. It's going to be a contact. And the type of the contact is a contact of type contact. So we can delete this. So, did that, we did the use client, contact component, contact property, contact the structure above, use the contact documentation to render the card with header with the image. So this is gonna be a card dot header with an image from React Bootstrap. Source is contact. It's not a rounded circle, but it's got a width of 75 pixels. Underneath the con the image is a title 
is a card dot title and so it says that we want an BSP to give that space between the two so that's the title then there's a subtitle with their address their address that's the header and then we have our card body we don't want the link Card body, it's got card text with the description, and then that's done. So we don't import stuff, and we don't use the link. Good, so now let's go back to our page. And we are going to contact map Wow, that's actually a pretty good suggestion. And then we just want to import Let's see what that does. So they're not all the same height. So I think I need to update my card, or my contact card, to say, oops, last name, H100. Oh. Now, that's pretty, except for I don't like that they're all crammed to the edges. I want to add some margin to that. I want some margin here. So I'm going to wrap my row, this outer row, with a, a regular old container. That should give me a little bit more there. I got some margin now on the left and right side. Looking good. Looking good. So we got that, except for the image has just says contacts. Following the instructions, it says list contacts. Now I want to, in a new window, npm run lint. What did I miss? What did I miss? Nothing. Excellent. Stop my timer at 12 minutes. Do my commit message. What is it? List contact contacts page mockup finish in 12. Commit. Push origin. View on GitHub. Main list contacts page 2 is what I just did. Updated the source. That it's up on there. So round two, do it again. 12, 13 minutes is excellent. Um, thank you very much for paying attention.